Hey my Geminis, how is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is staying warm. Um, Merry Christmas. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Okay, um, welcome to my channel. This is Unapologetically Beautiful Tarot. Um, just stopping in to give you guys a quick message. Okay, see what spirit needs to let you guys know today real quick. Okay, this is going to be short. It's not going to be long like my other ones. I'm trying to get more videos in and it takes forever to load the, upload those videos when they be like an hour long. So I'm going to start cutting down short, you know, on the videos. Um, in the description box, you guys can find my email address, um, unapologeticallybeautiful01. Um, at gmail.com there you can reach me I am open for personal reads I ask that you give me 24 hours to respond to you um, I'm sorry y'all I just be I just be tripping off this goldfish my son's fish is this <laughs> this fish is crazy okay so back to what I was saying yes this is going to be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node if you have Gemini anywhere in those placements in your birth chart then there can be a message here for you if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel I ask that you please do so that way when you subscribe to the channel your energy is in my cards so next time you get notified that I upload a video it'll be just like you getting a personal read okay now remember that this is only energy that we are not reading gender so the roles can reverse this can be your energy your person's energy and this can also be someone that is close to in your energy field now if the message does not resonate with you I ask that you please do not try to make it fit if it doesn't fit don't try to make it fit maybe there's not a message here for you maybe the next video there may be a message for you okay so let's go ahead and jump right in and see what we got going on so when I was meditating on the overall energy for you guys Gemini this is the overall energy um, wonderlust okay and this is the chariot card so moving forward moving on choosing the path taking that path okay quality spontaneous cur uh, curious minimally adventurous the open road is calling with nothing but thirteen with a thirteen hundred dollar backpack. You teach English to children abroad. Novel like the contents of your travel blog. Will you find new perspective or forever invade life at home? Place Thailand totem foreign language tattoo. Okay, so the chariot is the overall energy. So let's go ahead and see, Holy Spirit. And uh, send a master to guides. What clarity and love message do we have for the collective for the sign of Gemini? What messages do we have for my Geminis? What do they need to know? Quick love message. How is the person currently feeling towards them? Okay. Make sure everything does everything. Okay. Alright, Spirit, what messages do we have for my Geminis? What do my Geminis need to know? Alright, Spirit, what messages do we have for my Geminis? How is their person currently seeing? Oh, that's too much. How is their person currently feeling towards them? What do they need to know at this time? Alright. It's just all over the place. Done. Okay, so this fell out first. So we got the four swords. So your person could be praying about this um, situation. We got the Empress. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple more cards and make sure that we are getting um, clear messages here. So this could be your person viewing you as the Empress. Okay, and maybe this is you or your person. Um... You know, praying about this situation, we got the Knight of Swords. This is flighty energy. You know, this can mean trouble like that. Or maybe this is telling me that your person is coming towards you, um, you know, wanting to communicate, wanting to express um, 
you know, how they feel towards you, wanting to come towards you with some type of information, something that they have been thinking about that they are ready to express at this time. And maybe this person in the past have been praying about how to come to you and express this. Okay? Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have the three of pentacles because now they want to come together and work with you. All right, Gemini? Yeah. We have the Ten of Wands, Ten is Completion. But this is someone who is at a crossroads. This is someone who is carrying a lot of burden. Something that this person did in the past to you, Gemini, all the passion, all the obsession, all of the everything that this person was so passionate about that had nothing to do with you in the past has caused this person now to carry those burdens on their back. Your person is tired. Your person feels like they can't make it without you now. You know, maybe this person had an epiphany, you know what I'm saying? Maybe spirit was all up in their head and is guiding this person back to you because at this point in time, your person is done. You're done. Your person is done playing games. You know what I mean? Your person does not want to continue to carry the load of all these obsessions and passions and everything that they were doing to you in the past. Okay, what else, Spirit? Other messages do we have for my Gemini's, please? Other messages. Yeah, your person has a whole lot that they want to say. That's why they're coming in. That's why they are coming in to speak this to you. Let's see. So we have the Four of Wands. Okay, so this person wants um, a commitment now. Now this person is praying about this commitment with you, um, how to express this to you. Because like I said, now they're tired. Now they're tired. You know, this person knows that you are an empress. This person knows that you have everything. This person knows that you are lovable, that you are grounded. You know what I mean? This person, this is how this person feels towards you now. And this person wants this union. This person, this could even mean marriage. This person might want to come in and offer you a higher commitment. Okay. What other messages do we have? Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who's very grounded, someone who um, connects with nature, someone you could be, um, you could have a child, there's a child here in this card, you know, you can have already have a lot of money, you can be very abundant, you can be very wealthy, you know what I mean, um, but your person is viewing you like this, and they know that they can have, you know, all of this with you, and they want to communicate this with you now. Or another way that I'm, now that's just for some of you. Now for some other, some, some you know, the other part of you, what I'm seeing here, because I'm going to read what the cards are showing. Sometimes there's two or three stories just in one card, okay? But what I'm strongly feeling here also for some of you is your person um, in the past could have been praying, you know, about this commitment that they wanted with you. And now they are carrying a lot of burdens because they did not do so. So now they're coming in to express this to you. And maybe in the past, your person was in another commitment with someone else. Okay? Yeah, here we go. The chariot. Moving on. Overall energy for you guys. The chariot. But maybe you decided that you want to move on. Maybe you decided that you don't want this anymore. Yeah, walking away from things to no longer serve you. We have the Eight of Cups. So somebody here is walking away. Maybe this is you walking away from your person because you feel like that this person in the past didn't offer you or give you what it is that you wanted and that you so much truly deserve. But this person definitely wants to move on with you and they want to come in and express this to you. Or like I said, you know, for some of you, now this person wants to come in and express to you and tell you that they walked away from another situation, you know, that they felt was no longer serving them. And they want to come in and they want to move forward with you now. Okay, what else, Spirit? 
You guys can be dealing with, um, I'm seeing a lot of earth out here. You guys can be dealing with an earth sign, um, an air sign, a, a fire. All Every sign is out here. Earth, air, fire, and um, water. Okay? Justice. We have the justice card. So someone is, um, this can be you, Gemini, receiving justice after walking away from a situation that you felt no longer served you. Or this can be you receiving justice, you know, because now your person has finally decided to come in and offer you a higher end of commitment after walking away from something that no longer served them and wanting to come in and communicate with you about moving forward with you. You know, and also with this, what I'm also seeing here, too, is there could have been some type of ending or um, with the justice system, maybe a divorce, maybe some type of situation here in the past with your person and someone else. You know, now the scales are balanced so your person can move forward and can walk away from this situation now and come to you and express to you that they don't want you know, to carry these burdens of everything that happened in the past and that they want to move forward with you. Uh -uh. Yeah, you got the Ten of Pentacles. You know, so the Ten of Pentacles energy is, um, you know, hold on, you guys, let me see something here. So the Ten of Pentacles, you know, after this person walks away and you get your justice or after you walk away, you know what I'm saying, then you can move on to the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you guys can move on now because this person knows that they can have everything with you. Maybe you guys have kids together, like I said. You know what I'm saying? But this person knows that being with you will bring them a lot of abundance, will bring them joy, will bring them happiness will bring them stability. There's too many. Okay, what else, Spirit? Yeah, your person has a whole lot to say to you, Gemini. That's why these cards keep falling out like this. They have a lot that they want to express to you and say to you, yeah, we got the nine of cups. This person definitely views you, sees the having everything with you. You know, this person has a lot of love for you, Gemini. They do. What else, spirit? a lot going on. Your person's watching you. They're definitely watching you. This can be watching you on Facebook, watching you on Instagram, riding past your house, sitting down the street, you know, with the lights and stuff off, being all creepy and stuff, just watching you and see what it is that you're doing, because they done moved on from another situation now, and they want to come forward. But yeah, they're watching. You can best believe they're definitely watching you, and this person is sad. This person is sad. Yeah, they know that they messed up. They know that it's possible that you could have moved on from them. You know, and you no longer want this. Bottom of the deck, we had the two of cups. Yeah, this person knows that you're their soulmate. They know that you're their soulmate. They definitely know that you're their soulmate. Yep. There's some secrets here. There's some secrets here that this person is going to have to tell you. Maybe you didn't know that in the past that they was in another relationship or something. Maybe you didn't know this. Maybe this person ghosted you. Let's do some clarifying here, please, Spirit. Clarify this for us, Forbes. The hermit, yeah. This person, you know, this person um, went into hermit mode. You know, maybe when 
you left this person and you decided to separate yourself from this situation, this forced this person to go within and think about the things that they did and realize how much they hurt you. Clarify this. All the cards want to come out. Clarify this Empress for me, please, Spirit. Perfection. You see that? So, you have been working on yourself. Okay, Gemini? You've been working on yourself, trying to... Build yourself up to be the best version of you. And this person felt like they felt when you put your energy away. You know, because you was just like, I'm not dealing with this situation no more. Like, I'm moving on. I'm about to work on myself. I'm about to, you know, do what it is that I have to do to heal and be the best version of me that I can be. Regardless if it's going to be with someone or it's not, I still have to do this for myself. Clarify this Knight of Swords, please. Yeah, this person is in and out, in and out, in and out, temperance, trying to gain some type of balance. Don't know what it is that they want to do, but they, they know that they want to come in and express it to you. But maybe this person is getting ready to. Maybe before they was kind of like, should I? Shouldn't I? I don't know. I don't. And are they going to talk to me? Are they not going to talk to me? What should I do? Should I call? Should I couldn't call? That's why they call. That's why they're carrying all of these burdens. This person was unforsure. Okay, ten of wands. Clarify this ten of wands for me, please, spirit. Yeah, we have the mother of water. So this person is very emotional about all of the obsessive and deceitful things that they did to you in the past. Because like I said, this person does have a lot of love for you. And they do want to move forward with you. But I don't think that this person knows how to express this and tell you this. Okay? I don't think that they know how. Maybe in the past they never really communicated that much with you before. Or this can be that this person is carrying a lot of burdens because of a person that they were with. Maybe in the past they were with a water sign. Maybe it was an older woman that they were connecting with or that they were in another commitment with. And this person has caused them a lot of burdens. Four of Wands. Clarify this for Clarify this four of wands for me, please, Spirit. Let's see the card for the bumper. Did I? I could have swore I just. Am I tripping? No, that's not what I'm tripping. Clarify this four of wands for me, please, Spirit. Mm. One card. Can I just have one card? <laughs> yeah, Leo, the strength. Somebody's trying to gain strength to come forward and tell you about this commitment that they want to have or that or this union that they have finally walked away from. This other relationship that they have just finally walked from. Somebody's trying to gain some type of strength here. Well, your person. I'm not gonna say somebody. We know this is your person trying to gain some type of strength, or you could be dealing with the Leo. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles for me, please, Spirit. Conflict. Yeah. Maybe this this person that they was in a this person that your person was in a commitment with was the queen of pentacles okay see this is what this is was the queen of pentacles this relationship or this commitment that your person was in was nothing but about money and it caused a lot of conflict you know what i'm saying with this person and you and your person that this person caused a lot of conflict this was just all about money you know what i'm saying because as you can see we got a little bit of love out here but you know this person walking away from the love you know what i'm saying they walking away from it they got a lot of love for you they want to move forward with you maybe this other commitment that they was in you know that ended up in a divorce or whatever the case may be that they trying to gain strength to move forward from because it caused so much conflict was nothing but about money there was no love there the love was with you 
And that's why this person was kind of in and out. And they and it forced them to go into hermit mode and think about, you know what I'm saying, what path it is that they wanted to take. What, which way are they going to go? And maybe now your person has finally made the decision to move forward and come towards you. You know, maybe they did what they needed to do to get themselves out of all of these burdens and conflict and everything that they was in with this other person. Clarify the chariot. There we go. You know, no, the story was on go unfolding, y'all. Here we go. Oh no, come on now, spirit. Now that's just too much. Oh, this one got cards down, but it's too many. If they're gonna come back out, trust and believe me, spirit will make sure that they come back out. All right, clarify this chariot card for me, please, spirit. What's this chariot? What's this chariot card? We have the mother of earth. Okay. So, you can, maybe you're dealing with the earth sign, you know, maybe this can be someone who is older, you know, maybe you're moving forward to, maybe this person is, um, or maybe you decided that you might walk away from something and move forward with an earth sign. That can be for some of you guys, okay? Or maybe someone's mother, if you're dealing with the earth sign, this can be, um, Maybe that person's mother or uh, um, uh, energy of someone older that they deal with and get, you know what I'm saying, go to and talk to about, you know, things that happen with them in their life has told them that they need to move forward and express to you and talk to you. Yeah, and choose the right path. Okay, we have Equilibrium and we have the Moon card here. Let me show this to you guys. You see that? So, yeah. So, maybe maybe this person has someone in their life that they talk to and they get, you know, um, advice from or whatever. And, you know, this person told them that you have to move forward. You have to walk away from this situation that is no longer serving you and go towards the path that you know that you use, need to choose. Equilibrium. Choosing the right path. Okay, and secrets. You're going to have to express these secrets. You're going to have to tell these secrets. There's no way that you can go back and think that you're going to mend things with Gemini without expressing and telling them all the secrets that you were holding from them in the past. Clarify this Eight of Cups, please. Yeah. I mean, your person was dealing with the water sign, you know, just like I said, this was somebody older, it's going to be somebody younger, you know, but walking away from something that they no longer, they don't love, they're, they're, there's no love. There's definitely no love there. They don't love this person and this person doesn't love them. That's why they walking away from this person if they have not already done so. Yeah, this, they were, this, this, that relationship was nothing but conflict and torment. You know, it just, it just, it was all over the place. Clarify this justice card, please. Clarify this justice card. Ooh, the devil. Yep, they was in a codependent relationship with whoever this person was that they hid from you that you did not know about. You know, they were codependent or this person was codependent on them. There was a lot of lies. There was a lot of deceit. This relationship could have just been about money. It could have just been about sex. It could have been about having multiple partners. Maybe they had multiple partners that they brought in with this person, but there was no love there. There was never any love. That's not what it was about. And it ended up for them to be in a divorce with this person because it was nothing but lies and secrets and, and drugs and money and conflict. You know what I mean? It just caused this person a lot of burdens. You know, now they see that the grass wasn't green on the other side. You know, they chose the wrong path. And so that's why you was like, I'm, I'm done. I'm moving forward. I'm not doing this with you. Yeah, now they all sad and watching you now. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles, please. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles, please, here. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Looking like, I'll, which, which one to go? I don't know. Oh, shit, that's too many damn cards. Yeah, baby, but it was some interference, though. 
It was a lot of interference. That's why you that's why you guys couldn't build together and have this Ten of Pentacles. If there was too much interference. Yeah. Oppression. And that's just left this person sad as hell. That's why your person's sad now that they know that they made a mistake. They know that the person that they chose over you was it was the wrong decision. Nine of Cups. Clarify this. Damn it, what the hell? Oh, I'm sorry. I should not just be cussing. I'm trying to stop cussing so much. Woo! All right, spirit. Can I have my card, please? Clarify this line of cups. We have the uh, mother of air. Let me see something real quick, y'all. Let me let me just clarify something. Let's see. Mother of air, mother of air. Do, 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 do. Let's see this mother of air. Let me make sure. All right. Someone is thinking about something here. Let me see something. Liberty, self-reliance, intelligence, reason. Um, approaches, independence, fairness, advice, truthfulness. So this person could have been, get, this person probably has, has some type of thought, some type of knowledge. This person that they was getting advice from gave them knowledge and told them to move forward, you know, out of, away from this situation and move forward to you, you know, go for what it is that you love, go for what it is that you, you know, that you know you need to be and where it is that you need to be at. Or this can be, you have gotten knowledge from someone, you know, to take what it is that you love so much, which is yourself and move forward, you know, and go on the path that you choose to go into. I'm seeing this two different ways here, Gemini. Clarify this page of swords, please. Clarify. Yeah, they watching. They damn near watching you. You probably could. Maybe you got a whole lot of money. I'm telling you, maybe do you, Gemini, you can be very wealthy, you know, or maybe your person is very wealthy and maybe this person wants to come in and share this with you now. Or they're watching you become wealthy. You know, stepping into your power. Clarify this five of cups for me, please, spirit. Yeah, this person knows that you they they um they other half, they soulmate though. Yeah, this person is um this person is sad. They feel like they stuck in a situation that they cannot get themselves out of. You know what I'm saying? They feel like that this whole situation has left them stuck, binded, tied down, can't get out of, do not know what to do. But all they know is they want to be happy. They want to have joy. You bring them joy. You know, they know this now. And they all in their head about it. They definitely all in their head about it. Definitely all in their head about it. What can my Gemini's expect in the near future, spirit? What to expect in the near future? This person being guided back to you. Just a hermit card. See a person carrying that light, going down that tunnel, trying to find their way. This person is trying to find their way back to you. Okay. What else, spirit? What else for the near future for my Gemini's, please? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to call you back. What do you want, anyways? Okay, my bad, y'all. Oh shit. Okay, we got the seven. We got the seven of. Pentacles, okay? Seven of Pentacles here. For the near future, you know, um, maybe you decide, you know, when you decided to move forward and walk away from this situation, um, you know, it's leading you to your Seven of Pentacles. It's leading you to abundance. It's leading you to wealth. You know, maybe you um, stepped yourself away from this situation and just worked on your craft or worked on yourself and it's leaving, leading you to abundance. Okay. But your person still stuck. They don't know what to do. All right. 
What other messages do we have for my Gemini spirit? What else do my Gemini need to know? Journey and main female. Okay. So, yeah. We don't clarify this, though. Or maybe your person feels like they want to start this new journey with you. Okay. Maybe they, they have, like I said, they've decided, you know, after dealing with the situation that they were dealing with in the path, we have pathway at the bottom of the deck, that this is the way that they are supposed to go. You are who they're supposed to be with. You are their Ten of Pentacles. You are their Ten of Cups. With Ten Ten, that is a new beginning. You know what I'm saying? So maybe this is going to, this this situation, you know, after you guys heal and forgive and move on with this situation, if you choose to do so, Gemini, because we all have free will. You don't have to, you know, Know, but this is your soulmate though you know this relationship will be equally equal give and take you know what i mean but like i said that's up to you if you choose to take this path you know but your person is your person's being guided to take this journey with you they understand what this is about now they understand you know um your worth you know what i'm saying and who you are and how much love they have for you Okay. Can I have one message, please, dear? I ain't answer because I'm in the middle of recording a video. I was going to call you back in a minute. Let me finish my video because I'm recording. Yeah, just give me a minute because I'm recording actually and talking to you on the phone. I will call you right back. All right. Give me a minute. Jesus Christ, somebody always wants something. Dang. People don't know how to leave me alone. I can't even get no work done. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. Let's see. I'm almost done here. Just give me a second. If you don't answer the phone, then let me call you back. I'll get back. A win-win outcome in the forecast. Yeah, Spirit is saying you winning, you gonna win. Everything is gonna turn out in your favor. A win-win for a win-win outcome in the forecast. Nothing yet is set in stone, you know. So Spirit is saying. Regardless of the fact, you're going to win. You know, we're, they working on this person right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, your person in and out, your person in and out. They love you. They want to come to you. You know, they in the process of getting a divorce if they have not already gotten a divorce. You know what I'm saying? But this person knows that they love you and this person knows that they want to be with you. Flat out. Okay? That's just what it is. Let's get a love note. I don't even like phones. For real, for real. The only way I got them is to talk to my kids. Um, this too, you will conquer. Spirit is saying, you will conquer this. You will get over this. This too, you shall overcome. Okay? Every day holds new magic. All right? So those are the messages that you have from Spirit. I'm going to go ahead and get you an angel message. Let's see? Oh, shit. And then I just say I ain't supposed to be cussing. Okay. Now, Spirit, what angel messages? And I got the angel messages in my car. Just cussing. Get it together, girl. What angel message do we have here? <laughs> wise decision. So, Spirit is saying you made a wise decision when you chose to choose to walk away from this person. You made a very wise decision. And steady progress. Okay. You made a wise decision when you chose to walk chose to walk away from this person. It chose to, it, it gave this person no choice but you know what I'm saying to go within and look at their faults and look at what it is that caused the problem in this situation with you and this person. Okay, can I have two love messages? Two love messages. 
If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway of, to the soul. At the bottom of the deck, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills with my your love fills me with light. I love you. So your person is saying that they love you. I swear to goodness. I'm, I thought I turned this phone off. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Okay, so Spirit is saying it's, it's a new pathway for you, baby, because you decided to walk away from this person. Ooh, sacred union. Yeah, honor your relationship. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Yes, this is your soulmate. But Spirit is telling you because you chose wisely, be cho because you, you know, made the right decision to move forward and work on yourself and not keep yourself stuck in this situation that was no good for you you know what i'm saying that you are going to win you are going to be abundant you know what i'm saying you are going to get everything it is that you wanted you know but the path is clear it's up to you whatever way whichever way you choose to go if you choose to mend things and be with this person or if you choose to move forward Okay, it's all up to you, Gemini. So that is what I have for you guys. Do me a favor, share this video. Share it on your Instagram, Facebook, whatever um, platforms that you use and you watch every day. Um, to help maybe push this message to someone else who needs to hear this. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe so your energy to be in the car. So next time you get that notification, it can be just like you get in your own personal read. And give me a thumbs up, fat, fat thumbs up. Hit the like button below. Don't forget to hit me up if you need a personal reading in the description box, unapologeticallybeautiful01 at gmail.com. Okay, I love you guys. Um, have a wonderful and blessed day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.